and welcome back. Since our first DCC release in 2017 with the Jeremy Hyde and Blue Wicked album, many of our followers have asked questions on whether we will be releasing more official DCC tapes. Our goal is to keep the DCC format alive by not only maintaining our fantastic museum, but also try and release a new DCC album every year. With great pride, I present to you our 2018 release, Sergeant 606. This is an exclusive release done by the DCC Museum in collaboration with Causing Change Music, also called CCM, who signed Sergeant 606 back in 2000. CCM also made sure that the album is officially registered in the database as a DCC release. Thank you, Jeremy Hayden and his team at CCM for your continued support of the DCC format we all love. In this episode, we are sharing the entire process of creating the Sergeant 606 Digital Compact Cassette. For the normal official release, like it was done in the 90s, we would have needed the Lyric DM2400 duplicating machine to master and the Tapematic 2002 left loader machine. Unfortunately, we are still on the lookout for both machines as a needed addition to the museum. But after our research, we were able to modify the DCC175 portables with a link cable to a PC so that we can create almost the same result by writing information on the ninth track of our releases. We were able to purchase the entire stock of pre-loaded DCC shells with tape length varying from 60 to 74 minutes from Philips UK a few years back, allowing us to create an official album. Thanks to one of our donators, Hubert Schunken, who donated three of these very rare connection cables, we are able to create three tapes every run. It actually takes about an hour's worth of labor to produce a single DCC. The work is divided between Redondo Beach, California and Racine, Wisconsin. After we receive the 24 remastered tracks from the studio in Racine, we convert the 44 kHz 16-bit stereo files to the DCC format using a program called Wave to DCC. Then the album information is added and the master file is created with the software that actually comes with every DCC-175 portable. In order for the soft and hardware to be able to record on pre-recorded DCC tapes, we had to modify these players. Then we simply copied the information to the other two computers, who still have to run Windows 98 in order to make this work. In the meantime, CCM requested the official number and barcode and prepared the artwork. Per request of the museum, the artwork was done differently. All the regular analog cassettes and almost all DCC releases feature the artwork in portrait mode, but only a few in landscape mode. With a player like the Panasonic Portable RQDP7, the artwork is really visible, and therefore the Sergeant 606 release is in landscape mode. After creating the first batch of Sergeant 606 DCC tapes, we sent them to the CCM department in Kenosha for adding the artwork and packaging. This takes almost 15 minutes per DCC tapes, so we will show you this process in high speed. Sunday morning, cloudy day, 
As you can see, a lot of labor and love goes into creating each DCC we produce. This album is now available exclusively at the DCC Museum store on eBay. We are also releasing another DCC exclusively and free for our supporters of the museum that become a patron at the Patreon site, shown at the end of this video release. This contains the intro and outro tunes of our YouTube videos composed and performed by Jeremy Hyden, especially for the DCC Museum. We've also included the third track as well. This is our way of saying thanks for your support of our museum and the assistance of keeping DCC alive. See you next time.